Good morning, children. Today, this is Amdi Ramjan Beg. Today, I'm going to teach you 10th class English. That is uh, from 7th unit lesson, children. 7th unit C reading. You you can have your textbook there. Open your textbook, please. C reading. You can watch. You can see there in your textbook that it is uh, given unity in diversity in India. So, what is unity and diversity? What is that? Having the different uh, uh, religions and different castes. Uh, that is called the diversity. And where it is there in India? So even though we are in the unity, though we have the different religions and different castes, so many different religions, people they are living in different cultures and traditions, but they are in unity. So that it is a title given to you. Let me see that already the this unit name also it is given to you. That is also very extraordinary title. It is given. That is also unity in diversity, or nation and diversity. It is given not unity, nation and diversity. So now unity in diversity in India. Let us see that how the different cultures, how the different traditions, religions, people, and their uh, festivals. Uh, all these include. Uh, we are going to discuss in this uh, lesson. So let me read it out uh, by reading. You can understand, children. This is a C reading. I am going to start. You see that uh, India, a country of uh, many ethnic groups, is a land of uh, myriad languages, a veritable babel of uh, lang tongues, and numerous uh, modes of uh, apparel. For the most part, uh, the continental uh, dimension of the country account for these uh, variations and diversities. Besides, there are several uh, religions, uh, sects, and beliefs, but there are uh, there are certain common links uh, and uh, what do you call that uniting bonds uh, that people have sought to develop uh, in order to achieve the what do you call that eminently uh, visible goal of uh, unity amidst diversity. See how that paragraph of introduction given to you. Desirable goal of unity is there, and uh, amidst of diversity. Diversity means different, but we are in the unity. That is a great uh, strength of the nation. In the paragraph that you discuss about the different languages and uh, different uh, babels, I mean sounds that are in the country, different tongues that are sounds of languages uh, and numerous modes of apparel. That is a dressing code. Different different dressings are there. When you go to the east, when you go to the north and south and west, different cultures, traditions, apparel, dressing sense is there. People have the dressing sense. So continental dimensions, these are called continental dimensions. Actually, India is a subcontinent. India was called, or uh, the before independence, that it was called uh, a subcontinent. As you come to learn in social studies uh, lessons, a subcontinent meant is nothing but. Having the uh, qualities of the continent, different countries and uh, that like different people will be there. So irrespective of the religion, irrespective of the caste, that is. So that is why subcontinental it was uh, India once upon a time. So now these uh, variations and diversities are there. In addition to this, besides uh, in addition to this, uh, several uh, religions, several sections of the people, sects are given to you, and the beliefs also different. When you compare from east to west, north to south, that it is. Uh, let me come to the second paragraph. It is true that uh, superficial observers are likely to be bewildered by the astonishing variety of Indian life. They they fail to discover the one in many, the individual in the aggregate, the simple in the composite. With them, the whole is lost in its parts. What is needed is the superior interpretation, synthesis of the power of the mind that can give rise to a vision of the whole. This is the thing here. So goal is one, but uh, interpretation is a superior interpretation. What is needed is the superior interpretation, synthesis of the power and of the mind that can give rise to a vision. So these are all giving us a, a vision to the nation. Next paragraph, you see that uh, a keen penetration. You see the meanings in the second paragraph. So one or two come children. Be wild, first line, second paragraph. Be wild, dared. It is a confused meaning. Confused and superficial means you know that uh, uh, not uh, deep that is uh, which we do not believe that superficial that is and uh, that like meanings are there and uh, one more is uh, interpretation means superior interpretation interpretation imagination highly imagination that is uh, and uh, third paragraph a keen penetrating insight insight means that which is uh, we cannot see that it will be in the inner part inside that is insight will not uh, fail to recognize the fundamental. Unity beneath the manifold variety in India, the diversity itself, far from being a damaging cause of disunity, damaging cause of disunity. See that, damaging cause of disunity, and a weakness is a fatal source of strength and wealth. So there is a this much strength we have that which which doesn't damage, 
and sir herbert royalsley has rightly observed one historian one writer he said like this here beneath the manifold diversity of physical and social types languages customs and religions which strike the observer in india there can still be discrimination disc discerned sorry discerned a certain underlying underlying or uniformity of life from the himalayas to cape comorin this all from himalayas to the cape comorin up to this year also different languages different customs and different religious people we observe here that the person he told that story and but uh, people historians uh, other country people they failed to recognize what is the secret of this uh, strength of this nation they failed to recognize what is the secret of this nation so strength next you see the next period from his long and first hand experience in india vincent a smith another historian he is a great uh, historian says that the civilization of india has many features which differentiate in it from that of the other religious uh, other religions of the world while they are uh, common to the whole country in degree sufficient uh, sufficient to justify its uh, uh, what do you call it uh, treatment as a unity in the history of a human social and intellectual development from these uh, a smith he told differently he recognized he observed these things uh, when he visited in india he observed these things that is why he said like this here now you see that uh, even the early indian history unmistakably without any mistake one mistakeably shows that the political con consciousness of the people has from the very early times and uh, grasped the whole of india as a unit and uh, assimilated the entire area as the theater of its uh, activities india is uh, not a mere geographical expression nor is it a mere collection of uh, separate people traditions and uh, conventions india is much more than this the best proof lies in the fact that indian history has uh, quickened into life so that indian history it uh, has quickened uh, into life that means uh, what is uh, even what is uh, in the history that we are going to implement there that means all people here uh, cultural heritage uh, is uh, that we received that our cultural heritage uh, not only this uh, nationalities and communities also sub castes uh, castes uh, races uh, many races uh, all these are things here but the heart of uh, india is only one though we have these th these many differentiation differentiate uh, what do you call the differences but india's heart is only one come to the next paragraph the stream of the stream of different cultures uh, have flowed into our uh, subcontinent to make us what uh, we are and what uh, we will be what we are and what we will be in the future and there are uh, dravidians in india before the coming of the aryans uh, and hinduism is a blend of the cultures of the north and the south when aryan people entered uh, then this uh, hindu what do you call that uh, it is a blend of the cultures of the north and the south but before that uh, dravidians came uh, that is uh, dravidians uh, they ruled the country and next part you see that india has 150 dialects that is the language uh, forms that are and uh, what do you call that uh, 22 recognized regional languages are there in india now 22 recognized language there are so many languages but government uh, that central government has recognized it 22 regional languages but hindi like english has come to stay as the lingua franca of a nation lingua franca do underline children lingua franca its meaning is nothing but which is like a bridge and which is like a mediator language that is so that is called hindi in india english is when we go to other countries and in itself india in itself also we use english because there are different states different each state has different languages their mother tongues are different that is why hindi or english both are called here lingua franca which makes convenient to the other people here we are going to use hindi or english to translate and as a medium of language that it is it is used here and from kashmir to kanyakumari and from mumbai to nagaland hindi is now understood and is recognized as the national language of india so india's national language is hindi and it is recognized you see next year india has a rich cultural heritage we are inheritors of several grand treasures in the fields of music fine arts dance drama theater and sculpture our sages sages means wise people there rishis like it our sages and seers have left behind a tradition of piety penance spiritual greatness conquest of passion a desire passion etc our scriptures are the storehouses of spiritual wisdom our scriptures means that those are written in that days many years ago that are the storehouses of our wisdom our saints aspired to the realization of the infinite and we have inherited a greater aspiral 
spiritual values contrasted with which the materialistic progress of the west appears insignificant significant insignificant unimportant so in the west countries western countries they are going to recognize our tradition and they they actually they follow the materialistic life but they happen to see that what is the spiritual that means spiritual life is greater than the materialistic life who recognized here western people they recognized here the west has to learn a lot from india and it has now been realized when people in the united states and europe are turning to the indian way of life indian yogis and maharishis musicians and spiritual leaders have all attracted them in a big way a significant move to project india's cultural unity has been the holding of festivals of india in various parts of the world the west is fast uh, what do you call that uh, inclining towards our spiritual values which includes meditation and contemplation and charity and love universal brotherhood and fear of god piety and unselfishness control of passions and peace of mind all these are followed by other country people western countries people that west people west countries people are going to follow our festivals and our universal brotherhood charity and meditation also including meditation passion of desires unselfishness all these uh, are followed by other country people that is the greatness of our nation our cultural unity is further exemplified by the temples of the south and the kajuraho the caves of ajanta and ellora which are shining examples of india's proficiency in sculpture and architecture our music has come to enjoy worldwide popularity that is also very important thing our music india classical music next paragraph india indian classical music like the indian dances indian dances is built on the concept of ragas and talas you know that and each raga is recorded appro appropriate to a certain time of the day or the night and they are believed to be about 250 ragas in common use in the north as well as in the south in the modern times people like ravi shankar have taken ravi shankar have taken india's music to the west and thus bridged the gap between the music of the east and the west this is the greatness of because the music was recognized by the world our music was recognized so remaining part let us see children let me see it in the next uh, uh